Who am I talking about, you wonder? Now the goal here, I just can't figure out where to put this camera right now. I might have done this backwards. I haven't done this in a long time. No, yeah. I don't know if I can do it. I messed this one up. In my brain, I, I don't know what I was thinking. Hi everybody, welcome back. Today's video is gonna be about doing something nice for somebody. I have this feeling in my heart. Do you ever, ever have that? gut feeling in your heart that you just need to do something for somebody for for no reason just because you feel the need to do something I have that feeling I, I do have I have that feeling right now I'm gonna do something for somebody that I know will enjoy this will just thoroughly I, I know she'll just enjoy this thoroughly enjoy this the world today has gotten to be like all about me and they have forgotten 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 that you know what life it's not all about you it's not it's not all about you it's what you what you can do for other people doing for others is what life should be about so i'm going to do something and i'm going to bring you along on my journey and i know in the bible it says do without the other hand knowing the scripture that says that so please jesus forgive me for doing this because i'm going to let the world know what i'm doing but in doing that i'm hoping that Maybe it gives you incentive to go do something nice for somebody without expecting anything in return. The little girl that I'm doing this for, I want you to know, um, do something for somebody else. Do something nice for somebody else without expecting anything in return. That's what paying it forward is called. So you pay this forward for me, can you do that? You don't have to buy anything for anybody. Just do a nice action. Maybe carry something for somebody that's struggling. If you feel something in your heart that you need to do that's nice for somebody else, do that. Because I know that they'll appreciate it. So what am I doing, you ask? You wonder what I'm doing? I have a Cricut, a Cricut machine. We're in my closet too, by the way, just in case you wondered, because this is where I set it up. I have a Cricut machine that I have not used in about three years. Yeah. Three years it's been a long time you're asking me now Michelle why don't you make your own merch you can make your own shirts I know that I know I can I, I do know that I can but the first shirt that I've chosen to make isn't for me it's for someone else because I think that she will enjoy this who am I talking about you wonder Mary Jane Mary Jane is over at Paige Family Homestead that's who I'm talking about she is Andy and Peggy's granddaughter well, she was in a video not too long ago making a big chocolate chip cookie with her grandpa. Well, after that video went up, she was so excited. She was truly excited that people actually watched her. In her heart, it was a true excitement. So I'm gonna make her something, send it to her because she's coming back soon to Peggy and Andy's house. And I wanted to be there when she gets there. So I'm gonna, hur I'm gonna hurry up and make this. I have footage of shopping with my mother to buy the material for this so i'll put that in right now all right here we go shopping for mary jane well i'm in all of the row of all of the colors i'm kind of wanting to do like a, a youtube themed color so i don't know i don't know though we'll have to see because they have a lot of cool looking things all right mary jane we figured it out we got it all covered. I hope you enjoy what we said. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you did enjoy that. I'm sitting in front of my window and I, I just can't figure out where to put this camera right now. I hope you enjoyed that. That was me and Grammy shopping. That's my mother. We went shopping to buy this. So let me give you a little look at what we're doing. We'll give you a little look-see. And I'm hoping it works. I haven't done this in a long time, Mary Jane, so I'm hoping I can get it done. With my Cricut, on your Cricut machine when you have this, it, it comes with a program, a design program. So if you could see that little shirt there, I don't know if you could see the little outline of the shirt. I've got YouTube star on this one. And I'm a star over here. So we're gonna try to, to cut the thing, cut it out. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to actually get the YouTube logo. I don't I don't know what how much of this I'm gonna get done. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know. I'm a newbie at this cricket too, so Mary Jane. I'm I'm working, I'm 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 trying. I'm, I'm trying to get her done over here, Mary Jane. Alright, let me go and so I can figure this out and get we'll get it going. Let's get this going. There we go, we have liftoff. There. I, I, I hope 
I hope this works. I haven't done it in quite a while, so it's doing the cut. I guess we'll see when it's over. That's how it's working, Mary Jane. I think it's done. I think it's done. All right, let me go check right. it. I've moved to the kitchen. All right, now the goal here is to peel this off and the letters stick to the sticky side. That's the goal. That, that's the goal. Now it took me about 10 minutes just to get this little piece off. It's hard to peel this. So let's hope that we can get all of the letters. Let me see. All the letters to come off. Or no, all this to come off and the letters to stay. That's the goal. So you gotta peel carefully. We got a Y. Can you see the Y? We have a Y there. And if they don't, I have little tools little that came with my Cricut that I could peel it off because see the O didn't come out, the center didn't come out. I, I can do that. I have a tool. I have a tool that can do that. There, this little hooky thing. Now, I haven't used this since we've moved and I cannot find the razor blade part of it, but hopefully if I do this slow enough, we won't need the razor blade part of it, but it's working. But this is what I have to do, just peel. And then that's the part that I'll iron on and the sticky will be there. You iron that way. And I might have done this backwards. No, yeah, I did it backwards. So we're gonna recut this. <laughs> we're gonna recut this one, Mary Jane, because I think I did it backwards. I hit the mirror. So All right, we're not gonna worry about this because I messed this one up. So we're gonna do another one. Thank God we're not all perfect, you know. We're doing it again. Doing it again because I screwed this one up, Mary Jane. See, this looked great. But the sticky is on the other side, and if I iron this on, it's not going to work. So we're going to go recut one more. And also, now that I'm looking at it, I'm going to cut bigger letters. Yeah, we're going to cut bigger letters. Because, see, I'm going to put this on a hoodie, and I think I think we could do bigger. I do think we could do bigger. So back to the Cricut we go. All right, here goes cut number two. I think that I didn't have the mirror turned on last time. I don't know. But if this is wrong, we'll just cut another one. No big deal. There you go. There's cut number two. I also changed the font. You'll have to see this when I'm done. I figured it out. I had it right the first time. It's a good thing I did it again because I did it in different font. And I like this font better. It's bigger. Sometimes in my brain, Mary Jane, it's a scary place. In my brain, I don't know what I was thinking. I think, but I figured it out. I, I done figured it out, so. <clears throat> I'm cutting this one now. This is for the gray t-shirt. I'm doing this one in black. So yeah, I'm doing that one in black. So we're getting there. We are getting somewhere here now. It's only been an hour and a half, but but we're getting somewhere. Well, I've got somewhere and I'm really happy about that. It's, it took some time, but look at that, look at I got. This is gonna iron down on the shirt. Yay me, we figured it out. I'm gonna go heat this shirt up and iron this on so I can get this done and start on the other one. I, this is awesome. I hope you like this, Mary Jane. It's gonna look pretty cool. I'm done. It worked out really well. Look at, this is, I, I have this t-shirt. It says YouTube on the front. YouTube star on the back because Mary Jane, you're a star. You are the star of the Page Family Homestead. We're lucky to have you. All right, and here's the shirt, the sweatshirt. Got a hoodie. There you go. Isn't that pretty? I just like that. My grandkids are probably watching this saying, Juma, I want one. I will be making more of these for my grandkids. You're getting some. Don't worry. Mary Jane, pay it forward. Do something nice for somebody, whether they, you know, whether they don't expect it or they expect it, just pay it forward. That's how you could thank me. All right. If you like my video, head over to Page Family Homestead because where they might be able to show Mary Jane opening this. I hope it gets there before she leaves and goes home. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. But we're doing it again. Doing it again.